On day one, I spawn inside of Gotham City as Batman. Well, Bat Baby. And to no surprise, it's under attack. Being this tiny is a little intimidating with all the fires and criminals running around. It's a giant disaster. Someone needs to clean this town up. Just then, the Joker appeared. Hear ye, hear ye. In a mere 100 days, I will be launching my new product. Yes, that's right. I will be flooding the world with Smilex gas. <laughs> Everyone will be turned into clowns. Stay tuned for the big drop. Here's a little teaser. <laughs> Just then, he grabbed a couple thugs and turned them into clowns with a sample of his clown gas. This clown gas was serious business. I had to get out of there, so I ran into a nearby alley. I have 100 days to figure out how to stop Joker before he sends in the clowns. On day two, I made my way around Gotham's alleyways, getting to know them. I realized I only had three hearts, so I'd have to be very careful. Just as the thought left my head, I bumped into a couple of Joker's thugs. They weren't very friendly. You wouldn't hurt a baby, would you? Aw, oh, a puny Batman. Let's smash it. Joker will be so pleased. They had no mercy, and they started to attack me. My only defense was to run. I tried to lose them in the alleys, but eventually they cornered me in a dead end. I had nowhere else to run. I was done for. You'll never get away with this. Just as they were closing in on me, I heard someone call to me from above. I looked up and saw a cop looking out a window. Quick, use your grappling hook, kid. Grappling hook? I checked my supplies, and yep, sure enough, I had one. I shot it into the air. It locked onto the window, and I whizzed out of reach of the thugs. That was a close one. Thanks for the life-saving tip. I see you're a cop. Why is there so much crime in this city? Sorry, champ, but there's no time to explain. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. On day three, the policeman took me through a secret passageway inside the apartment and through a tunnel that led to the Gotham City Police Station. So this is where law enforcement is holed up. Can I have a word with whoever is in charge? The policeman took me into an office. Commissioner Gordon, I have someone here who wants to speak with you. Yes? I quickly explained to the man about Joker's plan to turn the world into clowns in 100 days. Well, 97 days to be exact. The man named Gordon was very concerned, but looked defeated. Hmm, that's good intel. I wish I had the resources to go after him. I really do. But most of my men are injured from fights, and we are low on supplies. Do you have anyone to look after you? Mom? Dad! Can anyone help me? No, not anymore. But I'm tough. I don't need anyone. Well, you won't last long alone. <sighs> Here, take these. He handed me a potion of healing, a potion of regeneration, a chicken sandwich, some extra bread, and a smoke bomb to help get away undetected. Whoa, that is super cool of you, Commissioner. Thank you. I won't rest until I have stopped the Joker. How about I come with you? I know this city like the back of a donut. And there's not much left to do here, sir. I finished mopping the bathroom twice. That would be amazing. Well, it's all right with me. Just take care, you two. Joker is not someone you want to mess with. We'll be careful. We understand Joker is seriously twisted. I followed the policeman back out of the headquarters and into the city. On days four through five, we were back in the city and trying to avoid the thugs running amok. I decided that if we wanted to remain with our hearts intact, we would have to find a place to lie low until we got stronger. The policeman, whose name was Joey, had an idea on a safe place to go. It was an abandoned house outside the city. He called it Wayne Manor. It sounded promising, and so we headed out of the city into the wilderness. As we passed by some trees, I punched a few to craft a table and make some wood tools. Then I mined some stone to upgrade my tools. Uh, bad baby, we got some company, the hairy kind. There was a pack of wolves getting ready to attack. We dashed away, but we couldn't outrun this foe. I had to think on my feet. I instinctively grabbed the smoke bomb and created a giant cloud of smoke. The wolves were disoriented, and we made a break for it. We lost them. Wait, there's still one on our tails. I'll handle this. With the help of my stone sword, I was able to defeat the lone wolf. With the battle won, black particles shot up into the air and bats spawned around me. I started to grow into a slightly bigger bat with more hearts. My suit also looks way cooler now. The rest of the wolves had now caught up, but seeing me change before their very eyes scared them off. They turned and ran. Nice work, kid. Now let's get out of here. We finally made it to the empty manor. I fixed up a couple of the rooms and called it a night. I showed the policeman to his new room and we went to bed. On days six to eight, I woke up and explored outside to get more wood. I ended up near the outskirts of the city and saw a woman being chased by one of Joker's thugs with a knife. 
Hey, leave her alone! The thug turned his attention to me and came at me. We brawled for a while, and thankfully, I could tell he was on his last leg, and I was able to best him. With the thug gone, the woman approached me. Wow, no one has ever come to my rescue like that before. Thank you. My name is Vicky, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Zozo. Sorry that guy was chasing you. Yeah, I'm used to it. You see, I'm a photographer, and I've been documenting all the destruction Joker has caused since taking over. I was getting some really great shots when a monster attacked, and I accidentally dropped my camera, but had to keep running. I'm mostly devastated about that. That's awful luck. We can go on a recovery mission to get your camera back. I'm down to clown with those clowns. Vicky was so surprised and excited that I would help her. But hey, I am Zozo. It's what I do. On days 9 to 10, Vicky and I waited until the cover of nightfall to sneak back into the city. Over there. Vicky motioned to the end of a long alley where her camera was on the ground. We looked around, and with no sign of the monster, I took my chance to seize the camera. Just as I was about to grab it, a big mob jumped down from his hiding place. He was blocking the camera. I could not get to it. I tried to take him on, but he was too strong. Uh -oh. Vicky, we have to abandon our mission. We gotta get out of here. We ran away until we reached the outskirts of town. We stopped to catch our breath once it was safe. I'm so sorry we couldn't get to the camera. I failed you. It's disappointing, but it's not your fault. You're the first person to offer to help me. I'll just have to try again another day. I'm glad you're not angry with me. Well, for the time being, you're welcome to stay at my base. It's a safe location. Vicky accepted my offer. On days 11 to 12, Vicky and I returned to Wayne Manor. I asked her if she knew anything about Joker's evil plans with the gas. I overheard he is planning to release the gas up from the sewers, but that's all I know. That was a hot tip. Thanks, Vicky. Vicky was going to need her own space in the manor, so I fixed up a spot. I showed her what I had done. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. Ain't no thing but a bat wing. I then turned my attention to the fact that I was seriously underprepared to go back to the city. I'd need to get stronger, so I headed out to mine some iron and coal. Then I went back to the base and built a furnace to smelt the materials into some armor and a couple other handy tools. My stomach started to growl. I'm sure my friends were hungry too. I poked around for some food and ended up finding a cemetery on the premises. There were two graves there. The gravestones read the name of my parents. And cue the waterworks. I felt sad that they were gone, but comforted that I could visit their resting places. Eventually, I came across a small wheat and lettuce field. I used the seeds and wheat to lure some cows, sheep, and chickens back to the yard. Welcome to the Wayne Manor Farm. I built them corrals and got them all set so we could have a constant food source and breed them. On days 13 to 15, I wanted to find a way to get stronger, so I asked Joey if he had any ideas. We need items, kid. Potions, enchantments, protections, that kind of thing. And most of all, donuts. It's the way we cops keep sustained. We hid stashes of this stuff all around the city. I can tell you where to find one. It's worth a shot. I quickly went back to Gotham to find a stash. After a bit of sneaking around, I reached the location where the policeman said it should be, but it had already been looted. Thwarted again. Wait, what's this? I found a map left behind. I inspected it and it led to a new stash. Hopefully no one had beaten me to it, but the map seemed untouched. That was a good sign. I followed the map. Ouch, what the? I was being pummeled by arrows from a mossy skeleton nearby. I was covered in them. I looked like a hedgehog with those arrows in me. This was not good. The arrows were poisonous. I would have to act fast. I attacked him with all my bad gusto. After a lot of back and forth, I managed to emerge victorious, despite my wounds. With the mossy skeleton out of the way, I found the nearby stash. Jackpot! It hadn't been raided, and there were all sorts of goodies inside. Potions, enchantments, a police badge, and, you guessed it, donuts! Yeah. Hmm, there's an inscription on this badge. It says, he who wears this badge, so also wears great responsibility. I remembered the vow I had made after those thugs had hurt my parents, to do everything in my power to fight crime in Gotham City. I put the badge on. I'm powering up with righteous vengeance! The badge leveled me up, and it gave me more health. On days 16 to 19, I made my way back out of the city as my newer bat self. I saw a child on their own and tried to approach them to see if they were alright, but they ran away from me. I trailed behind the kid and saw them slip into a building. I walked up to the door of the building and saw the child with their mother. I stepped into the building and greeted them. Mommy, I'm scared. You don't need to fear me. I'm a friend. My name is Zozo. Leave us alone. My son has already lost his father. We don't want any more trouble. No, please don't do this. 
I felt for this poor kid. I knew what it was like to lose a parent. I'm going to help protect this city and get rid of all these thugs. I promise. I will stop the Joker. As I said this, a couple of thugs appeared behind me. They started hitting me. But being this much bigger gave me a fighting chance. I beat them up until they went poof. Wow, Wee, you really are strong. You're going to be a hero for our city, aren't you, mister? I don't know if I'm a hero, but I am vengeance. I am Knight. I am Batso. I thought you said your name was Zozo. Yeah, I was trying out a cool name. Never mind. With that, I disappeared into the night and left the city. On days 20 to 22, I fought off some zombies and skeletons on my way back to Wayne Manor. I fought them off with ease. I'm so much stronger now. That was a piece of cake. As I got closer to the manor, I found a cave with some iron. I mined some for later use. Can't have too much of that handy. Finally, I arrived back at the manor and got straight to work, adding some more armor to my suit and a strong iron sword. With this upgrade, I felt much more confident. I think I can take on those earthy monsters that guarded the camera. Once night had fallen, I snuck back to the city and down the different alleyways to where the camera was miraculously still laying on the ground. And the monster was still there too. He lunged at me and I drew my iron sword. I sliced away at him. It was really difficult to keep my health up. Each hit really dealt a blow. He was not holding back, but neither was I. My armor, although not quite finished, held its own too. And thanks to that, I started chipping away at his health. I was coming out on top. With a final blow, he crumbled before me. And to dust he shall return. I recovered the camera and inspected it to see if it was damaged. As I flipped through the pictures, I saw there were videos too. It looked like Vicky had been chased by a group of henchmen. She managed to lose them before taking a final picture. Wait, the last photo taken on here, that thug, could it be the one that hurt my parents? My head was reeling. On days 23 to 26, I returned to the manor and gave the camera back to Vicky. You got it back. I can't thank you enough. You really do have a superpower. You never give up. That's a pretty cool catchphrase. I might have to take that one off your hands. Now that you have the camera, does this mean you'll be going back to Gotham? Actually, I was thinking it would be great to stick around here for a while. Is that all right? I've grown kind of used to the safety. You can stay as long as you want. Thanks. I'm going to take some photos out my window. It's got quite the view. Cool. I'm going to finish my armor. It's almost complete. There was just one problem. I didn't have enough iron, so I went to a nearby cave and mined a bunch more iron. I took the iron back to the manor and finished up my armor. I made some more tools, too. Once I was done with those projects, I passed the time by upgrading the manor. With Vicky sticking around, I wanted her to feel more at home and things to be less run down. Besides, it would be great to restore Wayne Manor to its former glory. On days 27 to 31, I decided to explore some more, but in the opposite direction of the city. I wandered into a desert. I eventually came across a camel. Hey, I don't want any trouble, Mr. Bat Guy. Me neither. I'm just passing by. Phew. I, like, just moved from Gotham and, like, I get beat up a lot. Some of these humps are just swelling. Can you believe? That's why I'm out of here. But to be honest, life is still like tough, you know? I'm a hipster camel. I'm not like fit for desert life. Just then, some husks popped up and started attacking us. The camel was spooked, but I won the brawl with ease. I've got a place not far from here, and so far it's been safe from thugs. You're welcome to join me and my friends. There's plenty of space at the old manor. The camel was relieved to get an invite back to the manor. Since I was in the desert, I had to take advantage of all the sand everywhere. I mined some so later I could smelt it into glass. Once I had enough, I returned to the manor to fix up all the broken windows with the smelted sand. Then I made a cozy barn for the camel. Hopefully this barn will help him stay camouflaged from the bad guys. As I put the finishing touches on, Joey rushed in. Hey kid, you're gonna wanna see this. We walked outside and saw that in the sky there was a light high in the sky with a bat symbol in it coming from Gotham. It had to be a signal. Gotham needs us. On days 32 to 35, Joey and I hurried to Gotham. We saw that the signal was coming from the police station. It was under attack. Evil little penguins and Joker's minions were setting fire to the station and knocking giant holes in the walls. I should have known the penguin and Joker were behind this. Joey and I drew our weapons and got down to business annihilating the cronies and flightless fiends. One by one, we picked them off. With the two of us fighting, we could deal more damage, but even that wasn't enough to stop the carnage going on all around us. We fought our way into the building. We have to find Gordon! Head for the elevator! We made it to the top floor to find a hurt Gordon surrounded by bad guys. 
You wanna act crazy? Let's get crazy then. Hiya! These punks were no match for the bat dude. Hmm. The name is still a work in progress. Anyways, back to fighting. I kicked their trash with no mercy. We rushed to Gordon's side. He was pretty badly wounded and was the lone survivor of the attack. We had to get him out of there before more henchmen came. Wait. Huh? Ugh. Open that chest real quick before we go. I followed Gordon's orders. Inside the chest was a Batman armored suit and a grappling hook upgrade. Holy bougie upgrades, Batman! It was time to blow this burning popsicle stand. We helped Gordon escape out of the city and back to the manor. There, we fixed up a room for him so he could have a quick recovery. Joey also volunteered to stay and watch over him. On days 36 to 39, we let Gordon rest while I harvested food for the growing number of roommates. Pardon me, sir. I turned to see a nicely dressed English gentleman meekly standing before me. My name is Alfred. I used to be a butler for the mansion some time ago. Now that the household appears to be up and running again, I wish to assist as a butler once again. I know a lot about this place, sir. For instance, did you know there's a bat cave under Wayne Manor? Wow. A bat cave? Sounds cool. And of course you can be butler again. We definitely could use someone like you around here. You might also like to know that there's a giant bat creature who has taken over down there. I tried to shoo him away, but well, no such luck. Alfred knew everything. I had him lead the way. Through this hidden elevator, sir. Straight down. There's only one stop. You can't miss it. Before going, I crafted a grappling hook. I entered the elevator, and it opened up to the bat cave. More like a massive tech lab with rock walls. This is awesome. There was a deafening screech. I was grappling with what to do next. Wait, my grappling hook. This is like roping cattle. Yeehaw! I was able to cast the hook and take hits at the bat, while also blocking his attacks. We brawled for a while, but I got the last hit. Bat cave was safe at last. I heard slow clapping. Alfred was entering the cave. He showed me around the bat cave, including a weapon stash and how to use the high-tech computer. We can use the computer to find the source of Joker's gas. I think we know where his gas is coming from. Am I right, Alfred? <laughs> Potty humor is low-hanging fruit, sir. I will work on the findings for the gas, but it will take a while. Great, I'll grab some weapons out of the stash. I equipped myself with a gnarly hippogriff talon sword, an extra grappling hook, a C4 remote control detonator, and some smoke bombs. There was also a nice Batman suit in the chest. It was slightly better than iron, but worse than diamond. This place had it all. On days 40 to 43, we headed back upstairs to the main floors. I spiffed up the manor and then fixed up a room for Alfred. He was very pleased and promptly took a nap on his sofa. While Alfred snored, I moved on to the dining room to do some renovations in there as well. Home is where the Batcave is. To my surprise, the little kid from Gotham and his mother were walking up to the manor. I was hoping I'd find you here though, though. Gotham has gotten even worse. We can't stay there anymore. Stay here then. We will look after you two. Can some other children seek refuge here too? Bring them all. I immediately got to work upgrading the manor to accommodate all the new arrivals. While I was working, the camel came up to me. So, I was like totes eavesdropping and heard you guys talking about Joker and some crazy evil gas ploy. I totally saw a sus factory out in the desert that was serving up massive Joker vibes. Like, no joke. I thanked him for his awesome hot lead. I knew where I needed to go to the desert to locate that sus factory. On days 44 to 49, I was traveling alone in the desert when I heard a vehicle approaching. It was a mean looking, dark purple roadster, and it was heading right for me. This could only be one person. My, 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 what do we have here? It's our little Batsy friend who is ruining all of our fun. Hee <laughs> Joker. That's my name, please wear it out. And don't be such a party pooper. Clowns just want to have fun, you know. I see where you're headed, but I'm afraid you're too late. Hee <laughs> hee, I already have all the gas I need. The only gas you'll be releasing is from the prison burritos when I'm done with you. Oh, is that so? Tell me, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Cause I have. Joker started talking to someone I couldn't see. Chester, where's your manners? Aren't you going to offer our bat friend here a snack? I was thinking... A knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Out jumped a creepy clown golem, and Joker sped away, laughing maniacally. Chester was big and scary, but he was just one dumb thug. How hard could it be? Well, I was about to learn. Bring it on!
On days 50 to 53, I was going toe to toe with this giant armed golem. His thick long arms really packed a punch, and he had a lot of range. Gah, I need to get close so I can hit him where it hurts. This was my hardest fight yet, but I had some tricks up my sleeve. Hey Chester, I'm hooked on you. I whipped out my grappling hook, pulled him in range of my fancy sword, and slashed him up. And how do you like this? I threw a smoke bomb down to make the golem dizzy and confused. Then I darted around him, dealing him blow after blow. Eventually, the golem started to crack. Now was time. I acted quickly. He didn't even see it coming. Three, two, one, kablooey! The C4 exploded as the golem walked over it. He went soaring into the air. You play with the bat, you get the wings. I turned my attention to where the Joker had sped off to. I began to follow the tracks to the factory. Something Joker said was echoing in my ears. Just another dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. That's what the killer said. Could the Joker be the same person who hurt my parents on that horrible night so long ago? I kept heading towards the factory. I had to investigate. On days 54 to 57, I finally reached the desert factory. To no surprise, there was a guard out front. Excuse me, did you order a drink? The guard was confused. No. Hmm, that's funny, because you look like you could use some punch. I knocked the guard down. He was out cold. One down, probably a million to go. I marched inside. Inside the factory were large machines producing Joker's clown gas, as well as, you guessed it, a bunch of cronies. Clowns, attack the bat! They sent the creepy clown creature after me. Clearly they had been transformed by the gas. Hey, no funny business now. The clowns were crazy, but I handled them. You know, for a bunch of clowns, you're really not that funny. When the henchmen saw I was defeating the clowns, they came at me themselves. Take it easy, I just want to shut down your entire operation. Chill out, this is the most hostile circus I've ever been to. I loved messing with them while I beat them silly. Eventually, there was only one henchman left. I'm the ringmaster of this circus, and you just bought a ticket to die. Yeah, Mr. Tough Guy, huh? Let's see how tough you are against my little toys. I hit him with my extra damaged sword. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. I noticed the henchman dropped a crowbar and a gas mask. I hope this can protect me from the clown gas in the future. Now I need to search for a way to shut the factory down. After looking everywhere, I found a big lever with a sign. Do not press. Why do we even have this lever? Signed, the Joker. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna press it. I pulled it and I heard all the machines shut down. Victory! On days 58 to 62, I made it back to the manor and thanked the camel for his information that led me to the factory. I saw that the orphans from Gotham had arrived. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Hope you feel at home here, kids. If you happen to find any weapons, uh, don't play with them. With more kids around, there were more mouths to feed. I needed to expand the farm. I'll be back, gotta run some errands. Did I just become a father to a bunch of kids? Eh, too late to go back on it now. If I can best an iron golem, I can keep a horde of children fed. I found some seeds for planting, then tracked down some animals. Here, piggy piggy, you're coming home with papa. I lured the pigs back to the corrals so we could have some more meat. I planted the seeds so they could start growing. With that out of the way, I decided I wanted to find some diamond so I could really have the edge when fighting Joker and his gang. If that wasn't enough, once I got back to the manor for mining diamonds, I could tell the kids were a little restless. After the horrors the kids of Gotham had seen, they could use a safe and fun place to play. I decided to build them a playroom. Yeah, this is pretty good. I think they'll like it. Better than the dirty Gotham streets anyway. That was enough building for the day. I was pooped, so I went to sleep. On day 63 to 66, I was sleeping in bed when Alfred came and woke me up. You scared the living bats out of me, Alfred. What do you want? He came to inform me he had located one of Joker's caches of gas in the Gotham sewers. Good work, Alfred. But next time, try knocking. I could have been sleeping in just my utility belt. It looked like it's time for another trip into the city. Alfred walked me through where to find the gas. I prepared my armor and weapons and waited for nightfall. Then I headed to Gotham. I found an entrance to the sewers and jumped in. I snuck through the sewer, trying to remember the instructions Alfred gave me, but I started to get confused about where I was once I was down there. Eventually, I came across a sewer rat. Rats! Guess I gotta take out this aggressive rodent. I drew my sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not gonna attack you. I'm not like that anymore. I'm all about peace and love now. That's great news. I'm looking for a certain place in the sewers, but I'm getting a bit lost. 
Let me guess. You're hunting for Joker's container he's stuck down here, aren't you? If so, I know where it is. Huh? You do? Where is it? I'll tell you, but I'm gonna need a favor first. You seem like you could help me with my monster problem. It's been terrorizing the rat community down here. What do you say? You down for vanquishing a foe? I agreed to the challenge and followed him deeper in. On days 67 to 70, the rat and I reached an area with a large pool of sewer water. I don't see a monster. Just wait. After some time, I saw something rising to the surface and out emerged a giant crocodile. The rat scurried away with a squeak. I would too if I was his size, but I was big and strong enough to take him on. Hey croc, let's rock. It crawled right at me, ready to make me his midnight snack. I drew my sword and swatted away. It was strong enough to cut through his scales. I jumped and dodged his great big snout full of teeth until splash, I fell in the water. The croc is faster in water. Better hurry and get out. Grappling hook, go. I whizzed out of the water and was able to deal a blow from above. I let him have it. He was super strong and got a few good hits at me, but he was no match for Zobat. I got the last hit and he was finished. See you later, alligator. That was actually a crocodile. But at any rate, I knew you were skilled enough to handle him. Thanks. My rat community can go back to living happy lives. Now, let me make good on my end of the bargain. The rat led me to where Joker's clown gas was. He couldn't get too close as it was already emitting clownish gases. Luckily, I still had the mask from the factory. I put it on and knocked the tank to bits. The gas was destroyed. Getting rid of that gas has me feeling relieved. On day 71 to 74, I trudged my way out of the smelly sewers, but it wasn't the stinkiest situation I'd been in. To see more on that, check out my other adventures by searching ZO ZO. I climbed out of the sewer and saw Joker sitting inside a cauldron. He jumped out when he saw me. Well, well, well. Looks like you've been busy. Find what you're looking for, Betsy? Just visiting my rat friends in the sewers. You're making house calls to sewer rats when I'll soon be releasing my clown gas all over the world? You're the worst Batman I've ever tormented. It's probably why you were orphaned. You aren't very good at being a hero. My blood boiled. How would you know anything about that? Is this because you're the evil thug that took my parents' lives? <laughs> I drew my weapon and lunged at him. Joker dodged and grabbed a golf club. He swung it at me and hit me hard in the head. Ouch! He was so much stronger than I expected. Uh-oh. Joker pulled out a bomb and threw it at me. Kaboom! Then he somehow shot poisonous gas out of his hand. <coughs> I quickly put on my gas mask. Nice try, Joker, but I'm immune to your poisonous gas. Are you immune to plasma guns? We both knew the answer to that. I threw a smoke bomb and took the opportunity to escape. Where did you go, Betty? We aren't done playing. Don't tell me you've run away. Oh, you spineless rodent! Come back and take your beating! I wasn't finished blowing you up! Ugh! Joker began throwing a fit. He shot his plasma gun and tossed bombs all around him. One bomb landed a little too close to him and blew him backward. I silently slipped away out of the city. On days 75 to 78, I got back to the manor and looked out over my balcony. I looked worse for wear, but that was nothing to the way I felt on the inside. I felt so defeated. I barely escaped Joker with my life. At this rate, I had no chance at saving Gotham, but everyone was counting on me. I was in over my head. I decided to work on the one thing I knew I could help, the manor. I cleared out the cobwebs, sticks, and rocks in the upstairs room. Then I replaced the broken glass windows and rearranged the furniture. That looks much better. I went to the archery range and boxing ring. Getting these in working order would be good for training. I got them looking tight and was ready to call it a day. Oh wait, I need to finish the downstairs hallway. As I worked on the hallway, the boy I had met in the city came up to me. Hiya, Mr. Dodo, sir. I wanted to thank you for letting us stay here and making the cool playroom. I've never felt this happy and safe in my whole life. Here. This is for you. He handed me a dirty looking friendship bracelet. As soon as I took it, I began to level up. This little kid's love was so pure and powerful that it literally gave me strength. This is exactly what I needed. Yes. Thanks, buddy. You're my hero. On days 79 through 84, I went off the grounds to try out my new strength. As I walked through the spruce forest, a mob of spiders came at me. And then a short time later, I came across a few Endermen. They were a piece of cake. 
How do you like me now? A woman dressed in an all black cat suit came bounding up to me, seemingly out of nowhere. Meow. Well, hello there, bat boy. What's a big guy like you doing in these parts? Uh, what? What's the matter? Cat's got your tongue? S something like that. You look like you're pretty fast. Care for a race to the other end of the forest? You're on. We raced through the forest. I used my grappling hook to swing through the trees, while the Catwoman swiftly glided, jumped, and flipped through the air. She was fast, wow. but so was I. We basically tied. Nah, I won by a whisker. She was one cool cat. After explaining the situation with Joker, I invited her to come to Wayne Manor and be on our team, but she wanted to remain neutral for now. I didn't say I was a good kitty, but I'll do you one favor. I know where another stash of gas is. I'll destroy it for you. She assured me she would take them out from a distance, as to not intake any of the fumes. Here, take these. Consider these a reward for nearly beating me in a race. Catwoman handed me a flashy new Sword of Fate and a stack of batarangs. Yes. Finally, a range weapon. Before I could thank her, Catwoman was out of sight, as quickly as she had come. On days 85 to 89, as I approached the manor, I saw that it was under attack by more penguins and thugs. Not again! I was even stronger this time, though. They were messing with the wrong orphaned rich boy. I started annihilating them. I had pecked them off one by one. That's when Joey came running out to me. Hey, kid. Whoa. You're not a kid no more, are you? Anyways, some of the penguins have run off with Vicky. They went that away. I took off on foot to track them down. I eventually followed them to a snowy biome, and I could see their tracks were fresh. It wasn't much longer before I saw a group of penguins marching along with a distressed Vicky in tow. Without alerting them, I swung in silently and started to kick the penguins' tail feathers. Ice to finally catch up to you guys. They squawked and tried to fight back, but they were no match for my newly upgraded strength. Brack. There was one penguin left, and he was much bigger and tougher looking than the rest. Time to take out the mob boss. Ooh, this bird is not going down without a fight. I'm a penguin, cause I bring the pain. You're a pain in my rear, that's for sure. We began duking it out, flipper to sword. After we smacked each other around for a while, I finally got the last hit. Now, you're a gondwin. I went over to Vicky. You okay, Vicky? I am now, thank you. You're really getting good at this. Those smelly penguins were taking me to their lair as a trap, so you would come get me. They didn't expect you to catch up waddling at their super slow speed. What a bunch of bird brains. You head back to the manor. I'll go take care of the penguin, once and for all. On days 90 to 94, the penguin and his minions were waiting around the base. For tuna's sake, where are they? They should have shown up with the bait by now. I worked hard on getting a yeti here. I shouldn't have to keep waiting to have the Yeti tear the bat dude limb from limb. Gunter, tell me a joke while I wait. I had stealthily perched on a high point above and decided to respond. What's black, white, and red all over? A newspaper. No, it's you, after being thrown to that Yeti you have in that cage. Gunter, that was uncalled for and highly unprofessional. <gasps> bat dude. I had gotten the jump on Penguin, and boy was he surprised. I soared down from the ledge and began to fight. It was me against an entire den of penguins. Maybe I was crazy, or maybe I was Batman. Penguins, attack. They charged at me and I began taking blows and dealing hits. The fight was bonkers, so many feathers flying around, but I was knocking the penguins out pretty good. It was then that I saw some ice fly past me. Penguin had an ice gun. He hit me a couple times with it and I was trapped in ice. With me unable to move, the penguins were able to hit me all they wanted. I'm gonna need a good icebreaker for this crowd. On days 95 to 97, I continued tearing it up in Penguin's lair. I had gotten frozen a couple times, but I had my batarangs now. I dealt trouble right back at Penguin. Eventually, I had defeated all the minions, now to deal with Penguin. I neared the Yeti cage and saw a switch next to it. I quickly pressed it. The Yeti came right for Penguin. His own plan backfired on him. Penguin was toast. The Yeti smashed his cold-blooded captor to bits. Vengeance is best served. Cold. I searched Penguin's base for anything of use. Would you look at that? A grappling hook rocket attachment. Okay, this was going to be fun. Woohoo! I searched some more, and although I didn't find any more cool weapons, I did find something of great importance. The map to the final cache of gas in the city. On day 98, I mined some diamonds on my way back to the manor. 
Once I arrived, Joey was excited to see I had made it back safe and was impressed that I had defeated the penguin. He also wanted to tell me what he had been up to. I have a little surprise for you. I've been collecting materials so you can make an enchanting area, and now I have everything you need for it. You can thank me later. I took the materials down to my back cave and set up my enchantment area. I crafted the rest of my diamond into an armor and a pickaxe, and then enchanted my weapons and armor with some basic protection. I then found Alfred to tell him about the map. Alfred, I've discovered the final location for the cache of gas with the help of this map. That is a relief to hear, sir, as I have not been able to do it with the computer. I did, however, find some wings down in the bat cave. Wow. Here, try them on. I took them outside, and with my new rocket attachment and wings, I could fly short distances. My bat skills were looking sharp. I bet the orphans would get a kick out of this. I better go show them. I found the orphans. They were playing and running around. They seemed at home here at Wayne Manor. I was happy to see that. I saw Commissioner Gordon and Joey nearby. How are your wounds healing up, Mr. Gordon? I am healing up pretty good. I'll be back in the field in no time. Looking out from over the balcony, I felt a very strong sense of pride in what we had done here. But now, it was time to go face the Joker. On day 99, I flew off my balcony and reached Gotham. With the map as my aid, I was able to locate the final stash of gas. I swiftly destroyed it. So long as Catwoman held up her end of the bargain, all of the gas should have been destroyed now. Yes. We'll see if Joker finds that funny. I flew into the air and soared around the city, looking for signs of Joker. At last, I found a crazy looking mansion ahead and instinctively knew that it had to be Joker's lair. I landed in front of the mansion and started fighting the couple of thugs out front. Then I was quickly overwhelmed by thugs running at me from every direction. Okay, maybe I was in over my head. Oi, get your daddy little clown hands off our friend. I looked and saw Joey walking towards me with a big group of his police buddies. I'd never been so relieved. His squad started taking on the thugs, which allowed me and Joey to go inside and confront the Joker. I'm glad I have you by my side, Joey. Now let's make Joker pay for what he's done to the city. Gladly. On day 100, we entered Joker's basement, which revealed a funky circular room. Joker was waiting for us. It's about time. I was growing bored waiting for you. You going to do the whole thing where you try and stop me? And then I tie you up and make you watch the world descend into madness? I suddenly remembered the face of my parents' killer. You were the one who killed my parents. Oh, trust me. I wish I could take credit for that. I'd have to be an old man by now to be the one who killed them. Are you saying I look old or something? Rude much? Evil existed in this city before I got here. Maybe you didn't notice because you were too busy being a spoiled rich boy in your fancy mansion. And evil will continue to be here long after I'm gone. Hee <laughs> hee. Goodwill also exists. Before, now, and forever. I will do everything I can to fight the evil I find in the city while I'm still here. You can bet on that. Oh, I hope so. It makes it so much more fun. Like a game of cat and mouse. You're the mouse, by the way. And you took too long to figure out how to stop me, little mouse. 100 days is up. It's like Christmas Day. Technically, I don't think you can count day one. So it's only been 99 days. No, no. Day one definitely counted. It's 100 days. 99. 100. 99. 100. It's my plan, and I decide. I'm pushing the button. Joker slammed his hand down on the button to release the gas. Huh, that's weird. I don't hear any reactions to the gas. Must be because I destroyed all the gas before I came here. My bad. He pushed another button, and this time, some poisonous gas came rising from the vents. I was trapped in the gas. But again, I just quickly threw on my mask. Any effects it would have had dissipated. Face it, Joker. It's over. You lost. Oh, it's far from over, Batsy. Joker pulled a lever on the wall. This caused the pipe doors to open, and a mixture of Smilex liquid and gas came pouring out. Joker stepped into the ooze and gas. He really was mad. Joker started to transform before our very eyes. He was morphing into a giant, super Joker monster. <laughs> you know, I think it's time to play whack -a -bat. Joker swung his golf club, bludgeoning me. I used my enchanted batarangs, grappling hook, sword, and C4 explosions to fight the Joker. 
Joker used his plasma gun, golf club, gas attack, and occasionally some bombs. It was a battle royale. Well, more like a battle carnival. I looked up and noticed a giant chandelier was above us, barely holding on. At the right moment, I threw a batarang at it. It dropped and crushed Joker. He gave a weak eee. laugh and then drew his last breath. Joker was dead. His reign of terror was over. Joker was gone, but as he said, evil still remained. So here I wait in the night to help the innocent and wreak vengeance upon thugs of the city. A bat symbol shined across the sky. That's my cue. Gotham needs me.